Okay, here's the parts you need to make your own LED lights that will run off a AA battery. Which you've got right down here, 1.5 volts DC, AA battery. We've got an LED, 100 ohm resistor, a 2N2222A transistor, and a bifiler coil. We're going to make this bifiler coil here out of this three foot strand of wire which I'll show you how to do right now. Okay, hey everybody, here's Dave. He's gonna help me film this uh, wrapping of a bifiler coil. Uh, right down here. Hold that. We've got uh, about three feet of wire. I'm six feet tall, so can you bring this up? I used to take it from my fingertips to the center of my chest, and that's about three feet, you know, for reference. Anyways, if you're a little bit shorter, go there and a bit more. It should work with less than three feet, but it's a good starting. So basically, and can you uh, point it down at the white so that I can get the contrast? Yeah. Basically start, if your fingers are really fat, use two fingers. If their fingers are skinny or medium, use three fingers. If you're really skinny, then use four fingers. And make a coil that's about like that. So you're basically just wrapping it around. And then what we need to do is to take that and twist it. It'll twist in one direction really easy and the other direction it won't. Find the direction it twists easier in and fold it in half. Then you end up with something like this and if I get a pen or something sort it out and then sort of form it so that there's a bit of a air core in the center here. Now we got ourselves a coil, okay, with two ends coming out. What we need to do is unwrap these ends. You has got a kind of approximated, eh? The screen's half gone. Mm -hmm. So we end up with a white and a brown on this side. And here a white and a brown. So now we've got is basically two wires that are wrapped into a coil and then twisted. And we're going to take a white and a brown and connect those together. I'll show you in a second, this will be clear. So now we can see we've got one, two, three leads. When we connect the copper and twist it together here, that's our center tap of this coil. This is one side of the coil and this is another side of the coil. And that's basically how to make a quick hack air core bifiler coil. Thanks, Dave. Okay, here goes nothing. It's actually something. A stupid saying. This is a basic jewel thief right here. We've got a bifiler coil. Here's our center tap, which goes to positive using an NPN transistor. And then we've got two single leads coming out of the bifiler coil, one going through a resistor into the base, another one coming out into the positive of the LED and the collector of the transistor. The negative of the battery comes into the emitter of the NPN transistor, and the negative of the battery also comes into the negative of the LED. Now let's see if we can draw this out with the actual components. There's the battery, there's the bifiler coil, there's a 100 ohm resistor, there's the PNP2N2222A transistor, and the LED. The positive on this side and the negative on that. Let's start from the battery. We'll take the positive and we'll connect the lead to the center tap of the bifiler coil. Out of one of the sides, doesn't matter which, we'll connect one end of the resistor and the other end of the resistor goes into the base. This is the 2N22, the base is in the middle. You can figure out where the collector and the emitter is. The emitter is closer to the tab. There's a little tab on the side here. You can see that. You can 
So now, let's take a look here. We got from the pawns of the battery into the center tab, which is what we did here. And we got the one side coming out of the resistor into the base, which is what we've done here. Now, if we come back here, we got another side here, which is going to go into the collector and the positive of the LED. So let's take that side of the coil and draw that down here. And then draw a connection here and come over to the LED. So that's connected to the positive of the LED, and this is connected to the collector. Back down here, we've got the emitter and the negative of the LED to deal with. So the negative of the LED comes down and over into the emitter and over and up into the negative. And you should have yourself light at this point. That's a basic jewel thief. Now I'm going to show you how to put together on a breadboard. Okay, let's put this onto a breadboard. Basically what we're going to do is take all these components and mount them on this here, which is called a breadboard. The breadboard is an interesting little unit. We've got two rails on the outside, a red rail and a blue rail. You see how there's the bottom blue goes all the way across, the top red goes all the way across. So if I connect something from here to there in the red row, they'll be connected. Same goes for this top row here. These middle rows are connected in fives this way and not connected across. So there's two rows of five channels going up and down. <coughs> what we're going to do is to plug the battery negative into the negative rail, the emitter into the negative rail, the blue, and the LED negative into the blue. And we're going to connect the positive LED and the collector into this part of the coil, this green lead, and the white lead's going to come in from the resistor into the base, with the positive going into the positive of the battery. Now watch this, it's not that hard. There, I just connected the negative, put the positive here. Then we'll take the coil, positive there. Now we need to hook one side of the coil through resistor. Kind of hard to see, but it put white there. And that's going to come into the base of the transistor, which would be, let's call it pin 45 here. There's the base. Need the emitter to be in the negative. It's kind of tricky. Wait a sec. So now you see on the 2N22, there's a little tab here. This is the emitter, the middle is the base, and the other side is the collector. I've got the collector coming in where the resistor is supposed to be. And the other side of the coil is still left free. Where does that go? That goes... Kind of hard to see it this way, but hang on. Do this by memory here. This is the base, that's the emitter, the collector goes to the other side. Okay. Fair enough. Actually, the resistor is coming into the base. And then the collector gets connected to the other side of the coil here.
the LED gets connected to that side of the coil and the positive. And the negative of the battery and we should have light. <laughs> Look at that. And that's fantastic bright. So there's your basic jewel thief circuit. If I was to come back in here, I would draw a resistor in there to the base. This is our transistor, the collector, the emitter. Over here we have an LED, positive there, the negative here, the bifiler coil with one lead going into here and one lead going into here. The two leads, or the center tap, is right here, which comes into the positive of a AA battery and the negative there. Center, tap, and 100 ohm resistor over here into an LED. Oh, blah, blah, blah. you got the basic circuit. Anyways, look at that. It's gorgeous, eh? If you put a potentiometer in between the resistor, you can control the brightness. Enjoy the light.